My daughter took that picture and it's actually of starlings, not of a cloud, but as you might think. And what I think is really interesting is to show how in nature, birds work together as a group to help each other, looking for food, defending each other. The researchers aren't actually quite sure why starlings do this. And the same is true in terms of how we can work together in the most productive way in terms of philanthropy. And that's the focus of my second point today, which is about the collective rather than the independent. And the idea that we should think about how can we work as a collective rather than just working on our own. With COVID, there's already been some amazing examples of this with the solidarity response and a huge amount of support for organizations coming together. Or in each community around the world, there's been partnerships that are new and collective approaches to how we deal with the pandemic and how we respond. And I think most charities now need to think rather than how do I act independently, how can I act together in a collective way? This may not be relating to COVID, it may be relating to lots of other issues, but it's about that mindset. How can I work with others? How can I reach across to others, work in partnership? Just like the starlings, we work much better if we work as a collective, if we help each other. And that's true in philanthropy. So I want us to think not independent about our own organization, about how we can serve our own mission, but how we can link and work with others to make even a bigger, more compelling story around why people should fund us and why should people should come together in philanthropy. This goes back to my point about making people give more when they have less. If we work as a collective and we're smart about that and we're smart about partnering and we think innovatively about that, I'm sure that people will respond by giving us even more money. I'll leave you again with this picture of the starling. It isn't a cloud, it's a natural phenomenon, but it reminds us of the amazing intricacy of nature and how nature works together. We're part of nature and we should be thinking, how do we work together as a collective, not just independently?